Hey, g'day guys, how you going? It's Justin Allen here with my Good Advice channel. Here to give you good advice for a better future. Right, what I'm talking about today is when you come under a predicament when too many people get in the back seat. So, what happened to me yesterday was I was in St Kilda and I had <coughs> four people get into the back and then wanted me to drive them to Chapel Street, which is only a couple k's. So, they wanted me to break the law and, and drive down the road, which I told them, I said, look, said it very nicely I said look I'm not willing to drive anywhere until one person gets out of the car I'm breaking the law I'm not required to have so many people in, in the car so there's many reasons why not to do it like number one would be stress it does put you under a lot of stress when you're driving extra people in the car because you know you're doing the wrong thing and, and really it's in their favor it's 100% not in your favor they're just saving themselves you know, for catching them two Ubers or, or whatever, they, they should get a, a, a maxi or a bigger van Uber. But anyway, so the reasons would be stress and the TAC won't cover you as well because you have one person not wearing the seatbelt. And another reason is that you could get a police fine. You know, what are you going to make? A couple of dollars or whatever, and then the fine could be $300. You know, and, and you could, you know, you know, it's not worth it. Imagine, imagine you got pulled over and you, you got a, a, a cop fine and the cop's giving you the fine. How, how, how good are you going to feel? You're going to feel like shit. And then another reason would be uh, you, you could get the sack from Uber. They could pull out their phone and start recording. And then, you know, then they could hand that in information into Uber and then you could be on the news or current affair or, or, or in the newspaper and you could be getting the sack over a couple dollars it's not worth it and, and another reason is uh, you know that the taxi commission gives you a law like when you register with uber now you've got to register with the taxi commission you're exactly the same as a taxi you, you've got the license to carry four people and you'll be breaking the rules so you know you're going to throw your job down the drain you might make them a bit upset like saying that you can't do it, but it, it, it's either way, or would you rather lose your job and not have all these reasons happen to you or, or, or upset them? You're better off just canceling the job if you have to. That, that, that's not worth it. Uh, you know, it's happened to me before. I've had in my last car, I had uh, poor girls try and get in the back, young girls, and it was only a small car, and they still managed to fit them in. And I said, no, nah. and it's happened to me. Like, I've done nearly 9,000 trips now, so it's not the first time it happened. It happened yesterday, but it's happened to me at least at least five times. So I'm just making you aware, like, if, when this situation might happen to you one time, and, and you've got to be even more careful in the dark, like, you can't always see people in, get in the back of your car. You might be in a busy place with a lot of people. You just you keep that in an eye, like, one dead giveaway is when you look in your reverse revision mirror and you can see not one person in the middle you can see that they're obscure two, two in the middle so that's a dead giveaway and I'd highly recommend to not do the trip this time if you have to I'll cancel the trip you know anyway that's my tip have a good day bye